Thera was just added to the competitive map pool in CS2, so I'm going to show you 10 lineups you need to know when playing this map. For starters, I want to show you the map a little bit. It has been in the workshop for quite some time, but if you haven't ever downloaded it and tried it out, here's what to expect. From the T side perspective, you have the A site on the right side of the map, which has a super interesting layout with some windows and an underground area that leads to the site. The B site is on the left side of the map, which also has a pretty unique layout with the bomb site actually being underneath a walkway. But be careful around the site as you can actually fall off the sides of the map if you're not careful. With this interesting layout also come some pretty funny easter eggs that you can find around the map like these three and multiple others that you can go look for yourself. And there are also some wall bang spots that I found that aren't necessarily that useful. I just decided to spend some time going around the map, shooting the op to see if there were any spots that would actually penetrate. You could possibly get some kills with these, but you'd have to be extremely lucky to do so. Now moving on to what you probably came here for, the lineups. The first lineup is right outside the T-spawn by this blue fence. You'll aim at the corner of this blue wood beam and jump throw. This lands nicely on the A site, blocking off that tunnel I showed earlier in the video. This could be useful in certain situations where you don't want the CT side to push so you and your team can get to that area quickly. The next smoke actually took some time to find and will take a good bit of trial and error to get perfect. The lineup is more prominent in game so go into a practice match to perfect it. The smoke lands nicely in the window on the A site, probably one of the most useful smokes I could find on this map actually so write this one down. Moving on to what I guess is still considered the A site or maybe even the middle area are these two smokes from the exact same spot. The right lineup lands at the far set of doors and the left lineup lands at the set of doors leading to the true middle area. For the middle area, you have a couple smokes you can use that are useful when trying to push quickly to B, also from the exact same spot. You'll want to aim at the left side of the A sign directly in the middle for the stair smoke. And on the right side of this flower for the window smoke. Both are a jump throw. Be careful with this stair smoke as CTs can still jump on this wall to see into the middle area. From the CT side, you can also throw a smoke that will counter the advance from the T side by blocking this archway in middle. Lastly, at the B site, it is a little bit interesting being that the site is underground, but there are some smokes to be thrown. The first I have is outside the windmill and it completely covers the front of the bomb site. Make sure to turn on the smoke crosshair and line up the bottom two with the white light bulb you see on the screen. The next one is a smoke that gives an advantage to the CT side as it blocks off a doorway on the other side of the windmill. Like the other smoke, make sure you turn on the smoke cross there and line up the one like you see on the screen and left click throw. And as sort of a bonus, here are some lineups that aren't smokes. In the winery outside of A, there is a small window you can use to throw flashbangs out onto the site, which actually blinds a good bit of the site. From the same area, there is a molly lineup I found that lands perfectly in this spot on the A site. It could be pretty dangerous in a post plant situation if you can get the bomb planted and get down there before dying.
And that's it. Check out the videos on the screen and be sure to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys in there.